Hi, so this is a preview of a theme I've been working on for Emulation Station, specifically for use on RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's based heavily on the work that was done for the Carbon theme, which is an awesome, super clean theme. I really like the feel of it. I like um, the lightness of it. Uh, so I wanted to build a theme that kind of brought out the things that I like the most about Carbon itself. Uh, in addition to that, this theme also supports the new video tag that was added by Field of Cows from the RetroPie forums, which basically allows you to show a video preview of a game in a specific game list. So I'm going to show you that now. If I jump into the Nintendo system here, you'll see uh, right here in the top left, that's the video preview of the currently selected game in the top right. Um, and as I scroll down the list, you can see the video changes out depending on the, the game that is selected as well. Uh, so this is the new view type that was added to Emulation, and now the theme that I built here supports it as well. In addition to showing a video, you can see in the bottom right screen there, or bottom right of the screen, I also show the what would traditionally have been the image tag in the game list metadata, and that displays here to the bottom right of the video to try to kind of mimic a, a TV with a, a video game box in front of it. From a metadata perspective, I show the ratings for the game itself, the description of the game, the number of players and the, let's see, the release date and the genre. And <clears throat> this kind of carries through for the other systems as well uh, throughout, the, throughout the theme. Now again, keeping, to, keeping this very simple and clean, there's not a lot of other design to it. It's really primarily focused to, to, to focus on the video itself or in the case of the detail view, the, the box art image itself. So let's go over to that as well. As you can see as I scroll through this, the design is very is very common between all the systems. Um, you basically have the logo changed in the top, and and that's primarily it. Uh, Genesis, of course, as you could see, and then if I get over to Super Nintendo here, you could see this is what the traditional um, detail view would look like, which is you have the box art image for the game that you have selected, uh, and that's basically changes out in this area here. So the way this works is you have three views. You have a video view. The video view is displayed if your game list has video metadata attached to it, so that meaning one of your games has a video tag in the game list XML. And if it does, then this is the view that displays. The detail view is displayed if your game has an image tag only, not a video tag. <clears throat> in that case, you get this view here. And then the last view is basically, it's actually the basic view, which is just this. In this case, you have no image or no video metadata at all for the games in this list, so you just get a nice, clean, straight list. And this is what you usually get out of the box uh, if you haven't scraped your games. And that's it. Uh, very clean again. I, I really am happy with the way this came out. Uh, there are things I'm looking to add and update, of course. Uh, one thing of, is that Field of Cows also added support for a marquee tag in the metadata. And I'm thinking of displaying that, let's say, to the bottom left of the CRT, so down in this area here. So you'd basically have the ability to show a game logo as well, in addition to the box art, in addition to the video. That's one idea I'm playing with. Of course, I, I'm open for suggestions, I think. Uh, there's probably a lot of things that we could add to this together to make it even better. In addition to that, um, this theme was heavily based on poster art from the early 90s for the Sega Genesis, as you can imagine, which had this really great kind of grid pattern behind the scenes this kind of CRT looking graphic with game uh, game footage in it in the in the poster itself and I really like the look of that and I'm wondering if I could do something similar that's more system specific so back in the late 80s I think early 90s Nintendo had this really great uh, poster art for most of its uh, advertisements that had this star based background with this kind of blue gradient and I'd like to maybe mimic that here and Super Nintendo had this um, I believe it was like this really great kind of diagonal based lines behind the scenes. Uh, so it's something I may explore. I'd, I'd, really, I'd like to research further though if I could find different things for each system so that it kind of it becomes more of a, a global change versus a system specific change. Uh, but that's it. Uh, now to use this you'll need the latest version of, Retro, of RetroPie which comes with the latest version of Emulation Station on your on your Raspberry Pi, and you can do that through uh, through an update through the RetroPie setup script. And there's details how to do that on the RetroPie forums. I'll, I'll link you guys there. I'm gonna put this on GitHub as well, so you could download it and try it out. Uh, I'm definitely, like I said, looking for feedback, things that I could add, things that I could remove or change. 
please let me know. Uh, I'm definitely open to it, and any bugs you find as well, I'd love to fix them. Oh, one more thing. Um, I have also worked on a, a simpler version of this theme, even simpler than what you see here, which is based off of Carbon Centered, and it's called CRT Centered, obviously. And in this one, uh, you'll see it is just the box art or video with the list of games below, no metadata at all. And I really like the way this looks. Um, just it's it's so it's so easy to read, uh, and I've tested this on a 1080p screen as well as this is a 720p screen, and it looks good at any at most of those distances uh, from my testing at least. So I'd love to hear what you what you think as well. Anything like I said before, anything that I could change or add uh, or remove to to make this even better for everyone. Let me know what you think. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you use it. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Take care.